South Lake Tahoe is welcoming visitors back after weeks of evacuations and smoky skies from the Caldor fire. It's amazing. We're pretty happy and pretty excited to to be here in Lake Tahoe and breathe that fresh air that Lake Tahoe brings. And for locals like Eric Layson. It's wonderful to see the, the businesses coming back. The Tahoe Visitors Authority says initial estimates from the city put losses at $21 million for the hotel and motel industry and nearly 19 and a half million for retail and restaurants in the month after the Caldor fire sparked. That includes what would normally have been a very busy Labor Day weekend. Can I get a uh, breakfast ball and a blueberry fat trimmer? Even before evacuations shut down the city, Ed Weber says he had to close the Tahoe Bike Company because the smoke was so bad. All of August was pretty much blown out from the smoke. So yeah, we, we did not do well this year in August or September. So in August is a pretty important month for the businesses up here. He estimates it was a difference of about $60,000 from August last year compared to this year. And despite being open now, the place was full of bikes, not customers. One of many signs things aren't back to normal just yet. Just being able to get a lakeside table on a Sunday afternoon is one. The grocery store is pretty empty. Um, getting pizza last night, it was a very short wait for the pizza. <laughs> Maybe because part of Highway 50 is still closed. Getting here from Winters was a challenge for Sherry Lester. We took the long way, so it, it adds about another hour. So businesses are still waiting for Highway 50 to open, and some are already looking ahead to the next season of tourism here. Right now we're waiting for winter time so we can switch over to our ski business, um, and we'll have to see what the winter brings at that point. In South Lake Tahoe, Lizay Mitri, KCRA 3 News.